Well, this project is a little bit different than your typical RV project that I normally do. This is called Beanbag Baseball, and it's a group game that we play when we go camping with a lot of our friends. And so I'm going to show you basically just a real quick video on how I built this. And I ended up buying a piece of solid aspen, and I guess it's butcher block material or whatever, and it was around $22, so it wasn't terribly expensive. Three quarter inch thick. And I would have liked to use plywood, half inch plywood, so it would be a little lighter. But if you try to find plywood lately, I mean, you can't even find this stuff that's not warped. So I would have had to made a frame to keep it from warping. And in this case, I don't have to do that. So actually, it probably is a little lighter by the time you take the half inch uh, plywood and add a frame around it. And also, we didn't have a lot of time. This was kind of like a last minute project before a camping trip. And I got the dimensions from uh, Good Sam's organization. Now probably the biggest expense is going to be this big old four inch hole saw. And actually I bought this uh, when I had a boat and I had to put a windlass in. So I drilled a four inch hole through the deck of the boat. So I'll talk about, you know, measure twice, cut once. And the drill I'm actually using is a hammer drill. And I tell you, you put it in hammer mode and it works so much better going through these big holes. And I guess I should tell you a little about my philosophy on how I price out a project. Now, if you're building a house or any major project, most people will tell you, just as a rule of thumb, or at least it used to be, that 50% material and 50% labor. Well, I've taken that a step further. When I do a project, it's 50% material and 50% tools. I always say, when you do a new project, you got to buy some tools. Now, I don't matter if you got how many tools you got, you can't do a project without buying some tools. And with these cordless tools, I was only getting about two of these holes per charge. And I thought about getting my old Milwaukee hole shooter out to do these, but uh, I was halfway done by time I thought about that. So I just kind of continued on and finished it up. So I got a router bit that I think I may just uh, dress these corners off a little bit. And uh, we cut the legs and glued them, and we're just waiting for the legs to dry before we paint it. And then the last step, of course, uh, to finish this is just to paint it, and we're going to paint it green. And, uh, boy, it looks like we're going to take two coats here. And so fast-forwarding a little bit, this is the completion of the project. And when I mean fast-forwarding, for some reason, uh, I didn't hit the record button, apparently, on the video camera. But you can still get an idea on how I made it. The lettering is just some stick-on lettering. And I'll show you on the backside how I did the legs. And the legs are just a simple... H pattern basically with a brace on top and bottom and I just used a couple cabinet hinges and when the legs fold in I've got these little turnbuckles that just turn 90 degrees and lock the legs in place. Fairly easy project. If you go to the internet and just uh, look up uh, Beanbag Baseball you'll see several Good Sam's organizations that uh, have layouts on the dimensions and now in all cases the size of the board is the same, uh, 24 inches wide, 36 inches high, and the circles are all the same, 4 inches in diameter, but the foul is different. Some are 5 by 7s like this one is, some are 5 by 8 And the other thing is, the standard regulation beanbag is 6 by 6 and you're not going to use that with this. Various beanbag sizes that they're using here run anywhere from 2 and a quarter to 4 to 3 and a half to 4 to 4 by 4 and I'm not much for sewing, so we did find some bean bags, uh, three and a half by three and a half, and four by four. So those will work with this one. We're not strictly a regulation bean bag, but you know this is a baseball game. It's not the standard cornhole toss game. 